I'm Dr. Feather. I spy with my little eye. Someone here for an eye exam. Have you been having any issues with your vision? Okay. What about any family history of eye disease? get a referral to come see me today. Mm. And do you have diabetes? What about anyone in your family? All right. And how have you been feeling in general? had an eye exam before, right? So, you know that it's very important for you to be honest with me today. Uh, please don't give me answers that you think I want to hear. There's no right answer. I need you to answer my inquiries as honest as possible so that I can take the best course of action for your health. And the only way that I can do that is if you're truthful. Not that I doubt that you would be, but you'd be surprised by how many people give answers that they think that the doctor wants to hear. And I just want to hear what's going on with you. All right? At no point today should you feel any pain. It's a non-invasive exam. So if you do feel pain or discomfort, please let me know so I can address any issues that you might be having. I have a checklist of exams that we're going to be doing today. But before I get started on those, I would like to just do a very general examination of your overall health, just really fast. You get green gloves today. as possible. scooch back if you need to, or however you want to get situated, all right? I'm just going to have a quick look. All right. Your eyes. See your ears. Do you have any tenderness in your ears? Other ear? How about this ear? Any pain? Any discomfort? All right. Have a look in your mouth. Lighter, please. Okay, good. All right. I want to take your blood pressure. So, excuse me. 
Excuse me, I just want to put this next to you. Yeah, go ahead, adjust. You're fine. You know the drill, right? Okay, give me your arm. Is that too tight? Hold still, please. Other side. Roll up your sleeve, please. Yeah, that wasn't so bad, right? Blood pressure is no big deal. sleeves back down. to do with you what I do with my other patients who are younger and that is I'm going to show you the parts of the eye. little lesson for you here today. 
So, this is the human eye. And this is what I'm going to be looking at today. It looks a lot crazier on paper. It looks more attractive the way you can see it, but this is what I want to see. I'm going to be taking a look at the parts in the front and the back, but I'll just tell you a little bit about it. Your retina, which is all the way back here in the back of your eye. It's a multi-layered sensory tissue. And it sits at the back of your eye. Your lens, right here, this little circle. Your lens sits behind the iris and it focuses light to the retina. Your iris is the part of your eye that you would say has color. So when someone says they have brown eyes, they're talking about their iris. The aqueous, right here. This is a thin, watery-like fluid. It fills the space between the cornea and the iris, and it maintains intraocular pressure. It's very important. Your pupil, which is the black part of your eye. I'll be looking at your pupil quite a bit. Your pupil allows light to enter the retina. And it's the opening at the center of your iris. The size of your pupil determines how much light enters the eye, which is why when I examine your pupil, I'll be using a light. Your conjunctiva Right over here. That lines the inside of your eyelid. And it covers this sclera right here. And your sclera is the white part of your eye. And when you get pink eye or conjunctivitis, that's that part of your eye getting swollen. That's what pink eye is. It's not actually an issue with the sclera. The macula, which I will be looking for, right all the way back here. It's a very small and highly sensitive part of the retina that is responsible for central vision. The cornea is a transparent part of the eye that covers the iris, pupil, and interior chamber. All right. Do you have any questions about the eye before we get started? All right. Okay, so the first thing going to get started with is the external examination of your eye. I'm going to get very close to you and I'm going to use my hands to palpate your orbital rim. Your, I'm going to take a look at your palpebral fissure. And that's the separation between your upper and lower lid. I want to make sure that there's no lesions. I want to take a look at the surrounding tissues. So. I am going to get in your personal space, but bear with me, all right? Just want to have a look, just palpating your orbital rim. Tug down here and just have a look at the palpebral fissure. Okay, making sure that there's no lesions anywhere or swelling of any kind.
good. Next, I'm going to inspect the conjunctiva and the sclera. I'm going to Come into your personal space, get a can with this little light. And then what I want you to do is look up in the directions that I tell you to, okay? I know it's bright. Don't worry though, it won't hurt. Alright. Look up. Keep your head still. Look down. The left and to the right. All right. Other eye. You can blink. It's okay. All right. Look up. Look down. To the left. your visual acuity. I'm going to do this in a couple of ways. The first is called the Rosenbaum test. I'm going to give you some papers to hold at forearm's length apart. You're going to cover one eye and you're going to read the lines that I tell you to. front of you with one arm. With your other hand, you're going to cover one eye. All right. Get my pointer. All right. You take it from me. Okay. One eye closed. I want you to read this line backwards. Okay, now I want you to read this line from left to right. Okay, now I'd like you to read this line from left to right. Very good. Now I'd like you to read this line from right to left. Good. Okay. Now, I want you to switch eyes. Take it in your hand. Got it? All right. That one eye is closed. And I want you to read this line from right to left. Very good. 
Now I'd like you to read this line from left to right. Now I'd like you to read this one from left to right. Okay, very good. this place. All right. Now, I'd like you to keep your eyes uncovered and tell me what number this, this is. Good job. Mm, let me hold on to this. You're not done with your visual acuity test yet. The next one. Which is that chart that you see behind me? What I want you to do is read the designated lines that I tell you to when I tell you to. All right. So I want you to close one eye with one hand, and I want you to. Read line four from left to right. Okay. Please read line five from right to left. No peeking. Can you read line six from here? All right, read what you can from left to right. Good. Okay. Switch eyes. I'm going to do the same thing. I'd like you to read line three from left to right. All right, how about line four from right to left? Okay, line five from left to right. Okay, and is it possible for you to see line six? All right, do what you can, okay? Left to right, please. Okay, good. Got a little trouble with line six, huh? It's all right. I want you to be honest. All right, next going to test your visual fields 
and ocular motility. And what we're going to do together is we're both going to cover one eye. And I want you to identify which hand moves when I wiggle my fingers. And then we're going to switch. Okay. Okay. So, cover one eye. Same eye as me. So my left hand is covering my left eye. I want your right hand covering your right eye. Okay? Good. Mirror me. Alright. Tell me when you see my finger wiggle. One more finger test. I want you to follow my finger, okay? Testing for convergence. What it does is it tests your extraocular muscles, the lateral ones, inferior, superior, medial. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is have a look at your pupils. I'm going to stand in front of you and I want you to look ahead. I'm going to use my flashlight to shine in your eyes. All right. Just look straight ahead, please. I'm shining this right in between your eyes. And I'm looking to see that the reflection is slightly nasal in both eyes. sure there's no asymmetry or strabismus. Okay, next we are going to do the swinging flashlight test. This is that one where I shine a light really brightly into your eyes. Check to see how your pupils are dilating. Coming in. I'm just going to swing this light in and out of your eye. Making sure that when the light shines on it, both pupils constrict. And when the light goes away, both pupils dilate. I'm looking for 
consensual responses. You're doing great. All right, now I'm going to test accommodation. So what I want you to do is focus on my finger. Okay, now look at the wall behind me. Back on my finger, please. And now at the wall behind me. Very good. Next is the not so fun part. I have to dilate your eyes with some eye drops. Do you generally have trouble? Taking eye drops. Okay. We'll go really easy, okay? Simple stuff. So, I want you to look up for me. Look up. Doing great. Good. your pupils. So, it does take a little bit of time. So until I'm ready to examine your pupils again, I would like to do some color testing with you. Fun stuff. By the way, do you feel any burning? Okay, good. Okay, you ready? color tests. The first one is nice and basic. I'm going to use my little pointer that the kids love. My ruby ring pointer. Okay. All I want you to do just tell me what color you see when I point to it, okay? This line. What color is that line? And this one? Okay, very good. Next one is a little bit harder. 
I want you to identify what number you see in each circle. You ready? What about in this circle? What number do you see? And this one? Now this one. What about this one? What about this one? And this? All right. Now I'm going to test for age-related macular degeneration. I'd like you to stare at that black square. As you stare at it, I want you to tell me if any of the lines surrounding it appear distorted or wavy, broken, spaced out strangely. going to dim the lights and I'm going to come into your eyes with the ophthalmoscope and I'm going to check your eyes. Um, it's going to be, I'm going to have to come very, very close to you. It might feel uncomfortable. I will try my best not to make you feel uh, skittish. I know that some people get a little bit antsy when someone comes in that close. I will try my best not to do that though. Okay, so I'm going to dim the lights. Use it to shine this light in your eye. I'm going to have to come so close that it feels like I'm going to be touching your lashes. All right, what I want you to do is stare straight ahead the entire time and try not to blink. Okay, you ready?
isn't so bad, right? Would you like to see? This is the cover. It's just the speculum. And then this is the inside. It has a little bulb right there. And the back is a very powerful magnifying glass that allows me to see into your eye. Cornell reflex. This one is not very pleasant, but it's super fast. All right, I have a cotton swab. I'm going to make it into a little point. All right, I'm going to do. So I'm going to come very close to your eye, keep your eye open. Good. Other eye. Okay, I know. What I did was I touched the very, very tip of this cotton swab to your cornea. And you blinked both times, which means you're reflex is intact, and that's what we want. Almost done. Just have to do the refraction test, and that's when I put that machine over you, and try different lenses on your eyes. Okay? Let me just set up the machine. Okay, what I want you to do is stare at the smell and eye chart behind me. All right? Are you ready? I want you to tell me if your vision looks better in lens one or lens two. Lens one or lens two. All right. New set of lenses. Does it look the same in both? Okay. One more set.
all done. Throw those out. Now, I just need to fill this out. You don't have to take any paperwork with you to the desk. We're not going to make any changes today. I dilated your pupils, so I don't want you to do any driving for uh, about four hours. And if you can avoid driving for as long as possible, I would recommend that. I also want you to wear sunglasses out in the daytime if you need a pair. I have a disposable pair that you can have and take home with you. They're not very stylish, but they will do the trick. Before you go, you should consider scheduling your eye appointment for next time. Preventative care is very important, especially with eyes. Once your eyes start deteriorating, there isn't any way to bring that back. So you want to try to nip that in the bud really fast so that you prevent any further degeneration from happening in the future. What we check for is macular degeneration, glaucoma, diabetes, corneal diseases. Um, your eyes tell a lot about you, and it's very important to have them looked at regularly, even if you feel like you don't need an eye exam, if, even if you feel fine reading and you don't get headaches or anything. It's still very important. Early discovery and treatment of macular degeneration and glaucoma and other eye diseases are vital in making a big difference with your eye health. And we recommend that people 65 and up get checked annually, and 65 and younger get checked once every other year. So that's it for you today. Thank you for being so patient. I know it's Never fun having someone poking around your eyes, but you did great, and luckily there's nothing for you to worry about. Uh, take care, and don't forget to visit the desk on your way out, okay? Alright.